This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to the pregame show. I'm AJ Good, getting you ready for all the high school football action about to go down in week number 10 of the high school football season. Starting things first over at Loretta, where on Thursday night, the Mustangs will be welcoming in Waverly as they look to improve their playoff chances. Loretta went on the road to Eagleville in week nine. However, the result was not what they wanted. You've got to be mentally uh, prepared you know, for a long road trip. It, it was kind of over the river and through the woods to, to Eagleville Friday night, and uh, we didn't we didn't get on or off the bus prepared to, to play. Uh, you you would think that you know sometime in the middle of the first quarter you kind of come alive and wake up, and we did have some good spurts, but nothing consistent. They got off to a fast start, but couldn't sustain the momentum. A point of emphasis in practice this week. We started fast though for the last couple games. Uh, it's a consistency of play where we've got to, you know, we can't say, oh, hey, we had an early touchdown on the first play or ran up to kick off back and this is going to be easy. We have to understand it's a 48 minute game, not a one minute game, and continue to play at our level, at our standard, and all the things that we believe in for the whole game. The Mustangs will now turn the page to week number 10, aiming to get back on the right track in the playoff picture. Very important. We need a really successful week this week if we, uh, if we uh, want to play anymore. Up next for the Black and Gold is a visit from Waverly, a team they know they can't take lightly. Uh, we can't look at their record. We just got to go out and know that they want to play just as bad as we do and they want to win just as bad as we do. We just got to beat them. The goal for the Mustangs is to get the simple things done and get one step closer to their ultimate goal. Just some consistency and effort, some excitement, you know, but it all comes down to just really simple block and tackle. If we block and tackle, uh, we're going to have a good chance to win the game. If we don't block and tackle, you know, we're not. So uh, blocking and tackling are the fundamentals of the game, and that's what we got to work on. Staying within that same region where Summertown will hit the road on Friday night once again as they take on one of their rivals in Lewis County in a battle for one of those final playoff spots. Summertown went into week nine against a tough Richland squad and found a way to get an overtime win. Well, it was a tough win. It was a great win for us, um, but that's a good football team and uh, had a chance to win in regulation and, uh, and didn't have to go to OT. So, uh, again, just a, a hard fought, good win. The thriller against the Raiders tested their toughness, and this team showed a lot of character. I think we made a lot of improvements from where we were a year ago in terms of fighting through some battles. And, uh, uh, you know, we had some opportunities that night. It didn't get off to a good start. And then we come back and we had a good lead before the half. And then we gave up a touchdown right before the half. And so just kind of an up and down thing. And uh, uh, proud of the guys for hanging in there and uh, showed a lot of uh, uh, perseverance to hang in there and fight through all the adversity. Up next for the Eagles is a visit to Lewis County, another team with its eyes on the postseason. We've handled some of those situations pretty good, so hopefully we get one more in us. And, uh, uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do this week. You know, we talk about you know, what matters is at 7 o'clock on Friday night, but you got to prepare. You got to be ready for 7 o'clock because if you're not, then it's not going to be any fun. So we got a lot of work to do this week. And, uh, See if we can work some kinks out, some mistakes, and uh, get ready to go. The final two games will determine this team's fate, and each one is just as important as the next. Definitely, even if it's not, even if it's not uh, for a spot, every game is important to us. So it's very important that these last two games we go out there and play the best we can. Summertown has points of focus for Week 10, and they want to win each situation and put themselves in a great position. Turnover thing's a big deal, and we talked about it. Uh, I think we created five turnovers the other night. We gave up some points, but we created some turnovers. And, and uh, I think we had one, and it uh, could have been costly. But uh, So the turnover thing's big. That's got to continue. And then we rushed for uh, two, 235, maybe 230. I'm not sure exactly the number, but we uh, had a good night rushing the football. And that's always good when we rush the ball and kind of control the clock and that kind of thing. Uh, it's a good night. So those are a couple of things. Field position, there's some other factors, but those are a couple of big ones. Coming up next, we head on over to Class 5A, check in with Lawrence County as they get ready for the final two games of the regular season. Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store, featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want, and it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. 
There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. LUS is committed to our customers. From providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back here to the pregame show. Now over to Class 5A where Lawrence County will hit the road once again for their final region game of 2024. The Wildcats will be taking on Franklin County as they look to start what will be a win streak heading into the offseason. Lawrence County saw its playoff hopes end at Shelbyville in Week 9, learning a lot of valuable lessons. I mean, we kind of we started off real bad. We can't have stupid turnovers, stupid penalties, things like that. We shot ourselves in the foot a bunch. We're a good football team. You can't win with that, especially against a good team like that. And they keep playing. The Wildcats will now turn the page to Week 10, where they look to build some momentum. I got a lot of guys back, so we're going to teach you to prepare the right way, and uh, hopefully, it'll train, you know, it will. Uh, It'll translate to having a good performance on the field and then uh, get a win and, and then get ready for the next one. Despite their postseason hopes, this team wants to end 2024 on a high note and head into 2025 with a pair of wins. It would be great to head into the offseason to not be in on losing, on a losing taste in our mouth. It will be great to get a win and go into the offseason ready to work and get better for next season. Up next is another long road trip to Franklin County, a team that proved it's hard to beat after last year. Uh, last year when I came over here, I'm going to preach this to our guys all week. Uh, you know, it's a very similar situation. They played really well and beat Tallahoma, and then they, they struggled the rest of the year, came over here, and they had a really good first half against us. We helped them out with two turnovers, uh, you know, inside deep their own territory, and it led to two scores. And then we came roaring back in the second half, and then uh, ended up getting beat, I believe, 31-30 or 32-31. And uh, we had a great comeback. We got we got to jump on them early, and not give them momentum. I know they're trying to they're be trying to their best to the purple and gold know they need to be humble and execute the fundamentals. I know we got to take care of the football, do our assignments, do our jobs. We can't underestimate it. But we've been struggling too. We're no better than them. They're a great football team. I know they're going to come and play, and we just got to do whatever it takes. Coming up next, we head on over to college football. Check in with UNA as they're coming off a bye week in a very important game. Let's make a deal. This is Jeff Hood with Keller Williams Hood Company in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. The real estate market is moving so fast and making a mistake or a bad decision could cost you or lead to disappointment. At Keller Williams, our team of professionals are the very best at what they do and they have the very best resources to help you make your best deal. Call us at 931-762-5816 or better yet, go to our website at kwhoodcompany.com. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, making real estate deals great again. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. 
Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floor by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to the pregame show. Now over to college football where North Alabama will be back in action in college football. The Lions are coming off one of the most important bye weeks that they have had after playing eight straight games. They've currently won three in a row and they have a huge game against Central Arkansas coming up on Saturday. Here's what head coach Brent Deerman had to say. You and a head football coach Brent Deerman. Uh, coach coming off the bye week, just how refreshing and needed was it for everyone? You know, our, our guys have been playing football since the, the middle to end of July. And it feels like uh, eternity ago, really. When you think back to SEMO, uh, and, and our guys needed a break. Shoot, our coaches needed a break. I needed a break. Um, and, and we took a couple of days and just got out of here. Uh, I've had multiple people ask me if I watched any football this weekend. I did not. I, I played with my kids. I cut grass. I usually do my best thinking on the lawnmower. So uh, it was a much needed break where uh, the injury report's gotten a little less people on it now. Um, but, but it was fun to watch our, our young guys compete last week with what we did during the bye week a lot of it. Just scrimmaging the young guys and letting some of the older guys get healthy. Going into the bye week on such a high of three straight wins, the win over national ranked Abilene Christian. You know, where have you noticed kind of the refocus of guys as you brought everyone back? You know, I, I think our guys see that there's a, a, a great possibility in front of us where uh, sitting at 0-5, you kind of lost a little bit of hope, um, and, and now with a three-game stretch here of, of all conference wins, you're sitting at, at second place in the conference now. Um, I think you've, you've put yourself in a good spot, and, and what we've told our guys is uh, now you have to treat every game like a playoff game. Um, and, and sitting at three and one, you can't afford probably another loss. Um, so this, this game against UCA, they know is a big one. They've gotten uh, locked in and focused this week. They understand we got to stop the run. Um, we, we've got a, a very talented running back coming here uh, that we've got to stop this week. Uh, and we got to take care of the football. In games that we've taken care of the football, uh, we've won the game. So that, that's a big key emphasis we've, we've spent a lot of these last two weeks. Um, but it's been really nice to, to look up at the standings and see UNA towards the top of the board. And with that, do you spend much time talking to the team about what those standings and what, what this back stretch looks like? Uh, a little bit, you know, we, we, we pulled up the USC, uh, UAC's tweet of, of the standings board of how we're sitting at second right now. Um, our guys got excited about that, but at the same time, uh, right now it's just us versus UCA. Uh, you can't worry about any of the other three games down the road. Uh, you got to take care of UCA this weekend. So um, we, we, we know we've put ourselves in this position, um, but now we got to take care of business on the road. I think it's a very tough opponent. And that opponent again, nationally ranked, they're, they're 10 and 12 almost just like last week, or two weeks ago in the two polls. And just what's the challenge of Conway this weekend? Uh, you're looking at a team that uh, two weeks ago was the number five or number six team in the country. Um, they're, they're a very talented football team. They got uh, probably three of the best players in our league play on their team. Um, you know, I, I think quite possibly the defense player of the year, probably in all of FCS, uh, plays defensive end for them. A uh, very talented football player. Um, they've got one of the best running backs in the country, if not the best. Um, they, they've got a, a, a nickel safety that, that uh, he, he runs really well. He plays plays great in coverage, can tackle, can hit. Um, and, but they, they've got a lot of great surrounding pieces around him as well. So a very talented team uh, on the road is always a tough task. So we've, we've uh, won a big one at home. Now the next step in this program, the next step in this building this culture is now winning one of these games on the road. 
That does it for the pregame show kickoff for your game. It's coming up shortly here on the Exports Network. And don't forget to check out all the highlights going down tonight on the final score.